Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is insert a node in a BST and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is very simple. It says that we have been given a binary search tree and we have to insert a key k in the BST and if it is already present, then we don't have to modify the BST, right? So we have to insert the given key if it is not present in a binary search tree. Now the time and space complexity would depend on the height of the tree and the problem is itself very simple and let me just explain you. There are only two things that you need to take care of and those things are the first thing that you need to take care of is that only insert new new nodes at empty position at empty positions and the second thing is that follow properties of BST right. So you must already know what are the properties of BST. So for example, if I have a node and let's say this is B and if there is any node to the left of B and let's say this is A, then this A should be less than B, right? And if there is any node to the right of B, then this node C should be greater than B, right? These are the properties of BST. So we have to follow this property of BST and we have to only insert new nodes at an empty position, right? So now let us uh, consider an example. Let's say this is a binary search tree. The problem is not very difficult. It's just a tree traversal problem. So let's say this is 10, this is uh, 5 and let's say this is 2 and this is 3. And here let's say it is 50 and then it is 12 and then it is 17. So let us just quickly verify that it satisfies the properties of PSC. So here I'll have to take 8, some value greater than 5. Right. So now I believe that this tree must be satisfying the property of a BST. So what I can do, uh, let us assume that you want to insert a node 6. Right. So we will start from the root node and I will see that 6 is smaller than 10. So I will go to its left. Now I see that 6 is greater than 5. So I go to its right. Now I see that 6 is smaller than 8. So I go to its left. Now that I have encountered a null pointer or a null position or you can also say an empty position. I will insert my new node here and pass its pointer to the parent, right? So this is how you can insert a new node. So this new node will have the value 6. Now let's say I want to insert 17. Let's say this is my tree and I want to insert 17. So I will come at 10 at this particular position. I see that 17 is greater than 10. So I will move to the right. I will see that 17 is greater than 15. I will move to the right. Now I will realize that this 17, the current node's value is equal to the value that I want to insert. Right. That means it is already present in the tree and I don't have to do anything. So I'll just traverse back from here and go back to my root node. So this is how you can simply solve this problem. The only thing you will have to take care of is that you need to follow the properties of PST and while following the properties of binary research tree, as soon as you encounter a new empty position, you can insert your node there. So this is how simple the insertion of elements in a BST is. Right. So let us have a look at the code now. So the code is also very simple. You see, I have created this insert function and I'm passing on the root node and I'm just going to return whatever this particular insert function returns. Right. So my insert function is going to take this node pointer as an input. So this will be the current node and it is going to return a node pointer. Right. So if my current is equal to null pointer, that means this is an empty position and I can insert my new node here. So I initialize a new node and I'm passing this default data to the constructor. Right. So here they have defined the constructor. They have given us a format of the struct node. So I'm passing this data to the constructor. So a new node will be initialized with the data equals to the value that I'm passing here. And I can return this new node. Now, if current data is equals to the data that I want to insert, then I can just return my current pointer. That means the node already exists and I don't have to do anything. Right. Otherwise, if current data is greater than the data that I want to insert, that means I have to go to the left half that is why I set my current left as insert current left. That means I want to insert my new node somewhere in the left subtree and whatever it returns is going to be the left pointer of my current node. Similarly, I do the same thing. If my data that I want to insert is greater than my current data, then I want to insert it somewhere in the right subtree and whatever that pointer returns is going to be my current right. And at the end, after all of this has been executed, I can just return my current pointer and this would be my final solution. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works. So you see the solution passes all the test cases. 
and the code is absolutely correct. You just have to make sure that you are following the properties of PST and whenever you encounter an empty position, you will have to insert your node there. So that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can also unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.